Hello everybody and welcome to Let's Roll Play Star Wars D6 Group A at last. It's Group A, no, Team A. <laughs> team A, fuck. Anyway, it's us. Hey, we're back it, after a very long hiatus. Um, not necessarily from the game itself in general, but like from Team A being involved. Yeah, we're back. Anyway, sorry about that. We're sorry doing a, a running start because uh, uh, Zombie is on a bit of a time crunch, so uh, we want to get him involved as much of the game as possible. So let's just uh, start going down the thing. Uh, Kit, you're yeah. our GM. Belial is here and Zombie's here. Take it away. <laughs> well, okay then. Um, so when last we left our heroes, they had uh, stumbled across a horrific crime scene and decided that this was what they needed to be following upon. They and track down whoever had taken them. And upon coming back to the ship, Washin had said that he was going to call into the Jedi Council, such as it was, to report what they had found. Seemed like a good idea nice. at the time. <laughs> Man, how long ago was that? Just a few minutes. Yep. A few yes. minutes ago. A few minutes ago. Uh... So yes, uh, uh, we are like the characters of the current stand are Washington, played by me, uh, Demi, the young, uh, you know, young laddie uh, uh, with the ability to use the Force, played by a Zombie, and Day, the character who's totally going to be here by the end of the session, uh, played by <laughs> Totally. Um, don't don't tempt fate, <laughs> Oh jeez. Uh, yeah. So um, yeah. So we we go back to the thing, and uh, Washington's like, all right. I mean, just like. Uh, Press a few buttons to uh, try and, like, place a, a long-distance phone call. Okay, um, so th this is actually fairly routine. Um, you've got installed in your ship a uh, holocom relay so that you can go ahead and speak across the galaxy back to the temple. Um, you're not ever quite sure who you're going to see there. Um, the masters seem to fluctuate in and out of things. But, Maybe uh, it'll be a, a cool Jedi Master unlikely. Cool on back. <laughs> uh, go, go on, go on. Unlikely. Um, anyway, the um, it takes a little while um, to establish a connection, but the hollow projectors warm up and um, they show an image of an empty room. Um, apparently, no one is minding the message center today what do um okay i uh tap the tap the screen and say hello hello anyone anyone there uh, hi the head of a woman in um flowing robes uh pokes her head into the capture field um you see an o of surprise on her mouth and then she hurries in uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Um, I had stepped away for a moment. That's okay. Um, hi. Yeah, listen, I need to talk to... Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm washing. I'm one of the students I'm, I'm reporting in from the field. Yes, dear, I know you. Oh, oh, hi. Yeah, sorry. You, you may recognize at this point that this is Tion Solasar. She is one of the masters at the Academy, and while she's not known for her exploits... She is known for being a historian of the Jedi Order, as well as being quite a good singer. Oh man, the, the jealousy she levels. Teaches, yeah. She often teaches uh, her lessons at the Academy in the forms of ballads that she writes herself. <laughs> the dream of not having me go out in the field again. Uh, it's strong. It's very strong. Uh, yeah, what's this? Wow. Yes. It, it, oh, uh, are you saying that Washin, the hero among men, desperately, wants desperately to, doesn't want wants to, to go home and then never leave? Yes, almost. Oh, it's almost loser. like a loser. No, it's <laughs> yeah. fine. No, that's it's kind of intentional. Uh, but uh, mm -hmm. yeah, he goes. Uh, uh, yes, actually, um, oh, oh my god, uh, uh, uh Master, uh, what the fuck is her name? Uh, you'd probably call her Master Tion. Master Tion, uh, hi, yes, I, um, <clears throat> uh, that is, that is, um, you would actually probably be perfectly fine to report to, I guess, because this is sort of about, uh... What's going on, dear? Uh, <clears throat> 
So, uh, I don't know if you... Uh, Millions dead! Demi cries out in the background. Well, that... Her brows furrow. Well, maybe not millions, Excuse but... Yeah. Also, maybe not dead as much as kidnapped? That's better. Where are you, dear? Um, so, uh, I, Mustafar, which is, I know, not where we were supposed to be, but there's a perfectly logical explanation for that. She looks away from the hollow camera and starts reading something off of another screen. Uh, that is out of your zone. It, tell me, has the Diversity Alliance expanded to Mustafar? <laughs> Sweat beating all over his face. Um, well, the f thing about that is n not as such, maybe. Um, see, we, um, uh, Day here, uh, she's a, uh, she's a, she's a former hero of the rebellion, and she, uh, was looking into some information about where Born and Thal might be, and, uh, or Reynard, or whatever the fucking the one that we're supposed to look for. No, you had it right. Okay. Oh, good. Uh, yeah, might be. And she said that uh, Mustafar was where that probably was. And we came out here, and then it turned out that uh, the Diversity Alliance maybe wasn't here, but um, someone was, and um, kidnapped or killed everybody, everywhere, and all life on this planet. The, the oh, face on, on Day's face is very, uh, mm. <laughs> mm. 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 Well, unfortunately, <laughs> Mr. Jade Skywalker isn't here at the moment. Uh, do hold on. I'm going to collect who I can. Okay, sure. Sky Skywalker? Uh, oh, yeah. Um, Luke, Luke Skywalker, his, his wife. Is she a cool force user as well? Oh yeah, she's the coolest. She's super, super cool. Really, really she's nice. She's a too. cool force user. Uh... Uh... Yeah, she's 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 great. She's really nice and occasionally terrifying, but mostly nice. I can't wait to meet her. Was it? I can't wait to meet her. All right, good. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, she's she's great. She's gonna love you. She's gonna love that you're here and yeah. Just this that's like the fucking scene in airplane, just like sweat just like running down in rivers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Both ways. Two men Both walk back ways. into the hollow camera field with uh Tion. One of them is an old, almost beat up looking man. Uh, someone who's been really worked over by time. He does have kindly eyes, however. The other man has a very suspicious look on his face, a close-cropped beard, and he's staring at you. <laughs> so yeah, like the fucking rivers of sweat are just pouring down. Hi! Hello! There. Greetings, master. Z. Multiple. Mm. Plural. Hi. You've probably met all three of these before, Washin. Oh, goody gumdrops. Oh, of course you've met Tion. Yeah. And her husband, Cam Solasar, the old-looking man. As well as the suspicious-looking guy, Master Corn Horn. The guy who used to be a, a detective. The guy who was a hero of the Rebellion. The hey, guy who... The guy who, generally <laughs> speaking, is more likely to argue with Luke than any of the other masters. Hi! And he's the one who's staring at you with an expression like, you've been doing something wrong. <laughs> he's matching the X button. Doubt. <laughs> You're lying, Washin. <laughs> you went there on a sightseeing tour. There's nothing wrong. <laughs> what? what are you talking about? There is everything wrong. I hear you have a Sorry. right. Uh, He's taken the central yeah, position. The yeah. uh, mm -hmm. Master Horn has taken the central position. I hear you have a report. Yeah, I have a report. That's what I'm calling in for. <laughs> it's, it's funny. It's exactly what I said earlier. Was how report was happening. 
Um, so, uh, uh, so... He, uh, he sighs and a little bit of the tension drains out of his face. Student, hmm? collect yourself. Right, yes. And tell what happened. So, um, we're, uh, uh, so... So, you know, um, how I was supposed to be with, uh, Rosa and, uh, Cool? Where is he? Uh, which, which one? Because the Rosa. answer is in space and also in a different part of space. <laughs> I thought you were going to say, <laughs> uh, shit. Yeah. I ruined the joke. No, it's ah. fine. It's fine. Um, oh. it, <laughs> Corin goes ahead and pinches the bridge of his note. I've been briefed on the Dom situation. Right. Where's Rosa? Uh, he's um, with a group of mercenaries that we met who seemed nice. And he went off with them after giving them the starship technology that was developed for the Jedi starships. And also with a force sensitive who might be dark sided. <laughs> He gets a weird look on his face, one that you probably can't read. And you thought that was a good idea. Ah, uh, see, when you put it that way, no. But also, it really wasn't my decision because, I mean, again... Did, at the time, you think it was a good idea? Re realistically, not exactly, but... I, I That's not what I asked you. No? Answer my question. At the time, did you think it was a good idea? Um, no, not really, but he seemed like he... Rosa usually knows what he's doing, I think, maybe. Most of the time. More often than not. Go on. Well, see, um, when we met these mercenaries, um, also, Day was here. Day, hi, say hi. Howdy. Uh, Day here's a hero of the rebellion. She she fought against the Empire <clears> as a <throat> <his> pilot. Um, <clears throat> I, I think she you know like helped blow up one of the Death Stars. Um, but she you know her her <laughs> <laughs> eyebrows narrow. <laughs> her experience, uh, you know, like oh, also uh, like she 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 seemed to have some ideas about where we could go to lo investigate further into the um, into the whole born full situation and uh, she. And so I took Demi here. Say hi, Demi. Hello. Demi here uh, and I decided to go and investigate uh, that while well, they split up and went to look into a different uh, problem. And who are you, Demi? Yes, that's me. Demi jumps out from behind Washington. <laughs> <laughs> and what's your story, young man? My story is a long and tragic sort. <laughs> Just the facts. Disowned by my, by my parents from a young age. I spent many years jumping from starship to starship trying to get by. Until one fateful day, Washin, Master Washin, discovered me <laughs> and took me under his wing <laughs> as his yeah, Jedi as apprentice. As going on with this, Corrin just looks at you and raises an eyebrow. This might be a slight exaggeration of what I told you, Demi. Um, but yeah, I, uh, he he has really strong force capabilities, and uh, it, it it felt like a really good idea at the time to you know take him with me because it, you know he he has a lot of potential and also is really eager and and really nice as well. And I figured you know it would be a good idea to make sure he got a. Force education, unlike the other lady who was kind of already turned to the dark side, who, you know, I didn't want Demi to end up like her and end up maybe going all evil and... Washin, uh, and also, uh, Day, go ahead and make perception checks. You grab my dice with that sword. <laughs> roll willpower to not shit your pants. <laughs> no, I, 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 I want to see if you actually notice this. Is it perception plus... What skill? Just I mean. perception here. Okay. Wild die. Wild die. Wild. Wild die, bitches. <laughs> throw a throw a spanner into the engine and then leap <laughs> out of the ship. Uh, uh, that's a six. Okay. Let's open up my six rolls together. Really shittily. Yes. 
Okay, I rolled a three on my wild die, just to let you know. Okay. Um, no, I did not too much better than you. Uh, well, it's, I mean, it's a... Do I have any pips in... Yeah, I have one pip, so that's a... 11 total. 11? Okay, you actually get this, uh, Washin. When you just said you thought it was a good idea, he lets that pass without comment. All right. I'm not sure if that makes... I think that just makes him even more nervous. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah. So you went to Mustafar. What yes. did you find? Uh, well, uh, nothing. And that's, like, in terms of life, no life at all. All gone. Uh, apparently in the just blink of an eye, just everything gone. Uh, you know, like, food was left out. Uh, pots and pans were still on the stove. Um, there was a... Uh, uh, <clears throat> uh, we, we got in touch with uh, one of the people's... Uh, one of the people who was Taken's uh, wife, and and she hasn't heard from him in 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 like two months. Uh, uh, basically, just horrible, just horrible thing. While you're saying this, he's actually pulled out a data pad and he's making notes. Just, just oh boy, just not great, not great at all. And Sith spit. There goes that theory. Uh. Okay. Uh, so we were going to... Wash him. Huh? Before being tasked with the Diversity Alliance situation, you had been on Kashyyyk, correct? Uh, yes, I remember that. <sighs> My that? students picked up your job. Oh. They've been looking after all of this. That's... Good? Well, no. Bad. You stumbled across something that they hadn't, and this is in an entirely different area of the galaxy than we expected them to be. Oh. This is more widespread than we thought. That sounds bad. It is. Look, I can't give you orders on this. I'm not your master. But I would appreciate it if you went to help my students. I, that seems like a good idea. I think we were I mean, I think we were probably planning on, on trying to help anyway, so this, yeah, I mean, they'd be good to help with that, with us. Good. Good. Send me any notes that you have. I'll try and do what I can with them. Yeah, sure. I mean, like, we got this. We, yeah, yeah. I mean, Demi here is, he's really coming into his own, and, and we got Day. I mean, like, I think she could probably handle this whole thing by herself. <coughs> he, at this, he actually looks over at Day. He fought with the Rebellion. Mm -hmm. Fighter pilot? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> What uh, squadron did you fly with? <clears throat> the hop culture check. Here we go. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. The, the Charlie's you... Angels. <laughs> oh, oh my god, I rolled a six on the wild die. Wow. Woo. Roll it. I've been rolling so terribly in like every single thing. <laughs> but, but this is your gift. You have the you have the gift of lies. The, the biggest liar. The biggest coward the of them all. The hugest hero liar. Okay, that's a total of 18. 18? Okay. Um. So how much <laughs> stolen valor <laughs> does Dave want to pull off here? What? How much stolen valor does Dave want to pull off here? How good of a squadron were you part of? Uh, try and be as low-key as possible so that <laughs> you know, the big hero doesn't immediately go, Oh, really? You flew with Luke Skywalker, huh? Mm. <laughs> We're fucking badass. I don't remember you. <laughs> you might know me by okay, my, my um... pilot handle, Wedge Antilles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'd go they, real. Didn't they die? <laughs> <laughs> Specifically, no, and this character actually flew with Wedge Antilles. Yeah. Um, 
Okay, uh, you go ahead and, you know, give this, like, random-ass squadron that uh, got mentioned in the, um, yeah, just in a show somewhere. Oh, yeah. uh, Grey Cloak Squadron? Blue Y-Wings? Yeah. Hmm. Well, it'd be good to have someone with uh, knowledge of the old rebellion on board. Do you think that you can keep up with Jedi? <laughs> like, 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 very obvious, uh, like, uh, what is it? Very obvious face expression, basically being like, "No, I can't," but then nods as. Reluctantly as possible. <laughs> Demi tugs on Washington's shirt and says, Did he just refer to me as a Jedi? Yeah. yeah. Full pound it was all like, Yeah. Pound it. Fist bump. Boom. Boom. Well, I'm Boom. certainly glad of your confidence, at least. <laughs> Very patriotic of you. You said you were working as a mercenary? Yes. Didn't feel like joining the New Republic Defense Forces? Uh, uh, no. Starfighter Command is always hard up for pilots. Ours for they now. Oh, especially experienced veterans of the Rebellion. Mm hmm. Why, my squadron. We flew with, oh, how many Imperial Defectors was it? He starts taking them off on uh, his hands. Yeah, yeah. Uh, depending on how you count it, um, at least four. So uh, I'm curious as to why you wouldn't go ahead and do that if mercenary life's not um, stable, is it? I'm a fraud. <laughs> you want now? And I, I, I have been lying to all of you. So what? I, I was afraid of pilot. Oh, that's. I mean. That's not too bad. I mean, like, Raider pilots... I and... never flew with any, uh... Anyone. So you were, you were like, a solo? Like a, like a solo? Tran no, n no, I just... Transported cargo... Oh, well, out I mean, of combat. <clears throat> I mean, that's still... Demi, if you were looking at this, you might miss it, but if uh, you're not paying attention to this revelation and looking at the Jedi on the screen instead, you're called. He's, he's looking at the Jedi on the screen. <laughs> You'll note that um, the old man puts an elbow into Master Horn's side. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you can't hear this, but there's like the three of them talking back and forth, and it looks like they're arguing. <laughs> Demi loves this. <laughs> the the weird like political machinations. Whatever. Yeah, machinations going on. I I I'm so sorry. I, hey, it's fine. I mean, you're still uh, no no. It, it's not fine. I I picked a, a planet random. Uh, and uh, it, and this entire time I've been it's been me eating me up. Uh, I, that I put such a, a, a young one, a youngin, in danger. Uh, yes, I mean, I mean, we still picked correctly, right? Because I mean, like we're we're here, and it's a big old mystery that we can still help lots of people, right? So I, I mean, it's not... Another I... voice comes through the screen. The boy has the truth of it. At this point, the. Uh, old gentleman uh, is the one who's standing in the middle. You may not have been a hero of the Rebellion, 
the force does work in mysterious ways. And you have found something that none other would. I... I... No. Yes. No, no, I... I can't accept this. Come on, we're still, like, partners and stuff, right? Yeah. You have something special that others don't. That is paint, and I'll be taking him with you now. <laughs> Was that in character or out of character? Out of character. <laughs> Look. Mistake. I don't claim to know the will of the Force. But when it speaks, it does speak. You led young Washin on the right path. And day. Whether you knew it or not. You may not have been a hero, but there's always the chance to be one. Can I step step out for a moment and uh, get some fresh air? Of course. <clears throat> okay. Slowly walks out and then runs <laughs> down the hall. <laughs> yeah, we go get some cigarettes. Ship. I'll be right back. <laughs> I'll be right back. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, like the now, we, like as like as Washington and Demir saying there, it's like we hear the sound of like the door ramps opening. Then the sound of running feet. Then the sound of like a starship engine yeah. turning on. Yeah. Um. However, to be nice. Uh, and and slightly forgetful. She is purpose. She is going to leave Pay behind. We have Pay just like looking back at where she's going. Like, wait, you for, you forgot your droid. You forgot Pay. Um, day. She has to come back. I mean, she can't. Yeah, she like can't. legitimately, Day is unable to go to hyperspace without the droid. Oh, we're going to uh, steal the droid, so uh, she should probably be able to actually escape without it. Well, um, they might be stuck here for a while. That's all that there is to it. God. Well, what if, what if the droid calculated the location first, mm. and then she went them? What if MacGuffin? Yeah. Uh, you know what? Uh, what if what you if, want to, you I could have taken Pete with you and then ejected them as soon as they gave you uh, hyper coordinates. Sure, makes sense. Yeah. Do it. So, so okay, Do so like, you hear like the sound of the spaceship take you off, then the sound of something <laughs> clunking onto the ground, and a few minutes later, a slightly dented and dusty paint rolls into the ship, like beeping. Indignantly. There's like a scrawled note on paint that just says, "I'm sorry." Like, <laughs> um, <laughs> it, it, Pate's little monitor um, reads and. What did we have it in at this point? I think it was like like binary. It was like like uh, like coding so that like he could use simple like yes no and right uh, um, commands. There is a lot of binary on there. Uh, Washington takes the note. I, I had a little book for translating it. Right, I think I got one when we yeah, were. <laughs> yep. Okay. Go <laughs> so... ahead and make a knowledge check for me. <laughs> okay. Demi sits there and slowly. Begins yeah. translating it. Uh, just gotta open that. Yeah, well, Washington plucks the note off the uh, droid and looks at it and says, um, so, not ideal, but. How do you roll for this system again, sorry? Um, four, so what you're going to do is you're going to take 1d6 that is going to be the special one, one that you can tell apart from the others. And uh -huh. then you're going to go up to your dice code and knowledge here. Ah, uh, right, yeah. Um, so you will roll up to, like, say if you had 2D plus 1, you would roll 2D, one of them being the special one, add what you get together, uh, informing me if there's a 1 on the special or a 6 on the special, and then mm -hmm. you would add plus 1, because that's the pip there. Okay. Nothing special. Uh, total of 8. Total of 8. Okay. Um, it takes you a little while, but... <sighs> My existence is pain... It's okay, Pete. Things will turn around for you now that you're with me. Strokes the oh. side of the droid's head. Oh, that's a bit uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 
Hey, you know, like, he, he's big on picking up uh, pick up robots on the rebound. <laughs> I, I know we're gonna have, have you work in those space Um. Okay. Well, so that could have all gone better. The uh, one was back at the at the at the at the space Skype call. So. Um, Indeed. Um. <clears throat> And well, corn is back in the middle at this point. So our ship doesn't actually have any guns on it at all, so we should probably go and meet up with your students before someone decides to shoot us, and we're doomed. Right. Well, hopefully you shouldn't get into any space combat. Look, you're going to be going to the Eridu system. Eridu, okay. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and send you the coordinates... My students should still be there. You'll want to go to the city of Felar. Felar. Two L's or one L? One L. Okay. Okay, well. Well, it would have been good for that not to have been the case, but... Hmm. Listen when the Force speaks, Washin. Okay, yeah, I'll uh, keep doing that. It's uh, worked out. He looks back at the open uh, hatchway pretty well so far. Most of the time. Be careful. Yeah, yeah. Uh, send my, you know, best wishes and all that to... to... He shakes his head. Oh. Jade, never forgive me. Okay, okay, well, and that's... Good luck. May the force be with you. Yeah, see see ya. Beep. Oh, um... <clears throat> well, Day, uh... Looks like we, uh... We have the next place we're going to, and, uh... New Blue Day's Blood. gone, Washington. Yeah, I noticed. She, um... Uh, she left us a parting gift, though. That was nice. You know, and uh, I put a hand on on Demi's head. Don't worry, we're gonna, we're gonna be okay. And I'm not, I'm not gonna we'll leave. Find you. you a new friend. Yeah, I'm gonna find you a new friend. It's even better. Are you sure that's <laughs> the best idea, Washington? With how annoyed the Jedi Jedi seem to be. Ah, uh, it's fine. You know, they um, look, I got a good feeling about this. A really good, not at all. Terrified feeling about this, so it'll be good. Yeah. If you say so, then I do as well. Excellent. So yeah. As long as as long as nothing happens that will get in the way of my training. Absolutely Hard nothing cut. will it will get in the <laughs> way of you getting one hundred percent of my attention in training you to be a Jedi. <laughs> I I don't know how to do the theme to Always sunny. I assume that you're going to fly off to the location you've been given? Yes. Okay. Um, it does take you some time to get there. Uh, as, you know, I guess, and maybe part of what is causing them so much consternation with the fact of where you were, Eridu is not even close on the galactic map to where Mustafar is. In fact, it's in an entirely different region. Okay. Uh, during during that time, I want to tr like sh uh, teach Demi the the uh, basics of how to use a lightsaber. Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> it's time for limb losing. Um, well, okay. uh, zombie, prepared to roll a new character. I am willing and ready. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, Do or die. <laughs> go ahead and roleplay this, uh, April, and uh, I will cut in for when any skill checks need to be made. Okay, so I hand Demi the lightsaber, unlit. Roll and, a teaching skill. Yeah, <laughs> I, I actually first remove the uh, the actual like power source and say, all right, so the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to show you basic stances and how to you know use it. Once I'm confident that you understand the very basics, then we'll uh, turn it on and you know you can start doing it with lightsaber active. Uh, from there, we'll move on to uh, training uh, to a training exercise. A uh, you know uh, don't really have one of those you know little uh, practice dummies, but we'll get one of those for you eventually. You can learn to start deflecting blaster shots. 
<laughs> Don't worry, it's easier than it looks. I can't believe I'm holding a real Jedi weapon. <laughs> yeah, just yeah. You know, again, very careful with it. It's 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 very dangerous. I mean, the power supply is in there right now, but like it, uh, when it's on, it will it will just cut through anything, and I mean anything. Uh, you know, really, really, really dangerous. But listen, this is the thing. You don't have a weapon, and, you know, if, uh, if, it, if we end up getting into a fight, then uh, I at least know the, you know, have a basic idea of how to use my blaster, but I need you to be able to defend yourself, so I might need to rely on you to uh, cover me with this. So are you ready to become a Jedi Knight? I have never been more ready for anything in my entire life. Awesome. <laughs> so, first position, second position, first position, second position. Rocky montage. Okay, um... Zombie. Yes. Roll dexterity. Just flat dexterity. Go Actually, you know what? Strong. You can use your club skill. <laughs> Hearts Very on nice. fire. <laughs> yes, Will. <Lil. laughs> Total of 19 with nothing special. Oh, shit. Dying. 19. Okay, very good. Um, Washin, roll me a perception. Okay. Uh... Dark energy is surrounding <laughs> now. Like this, this wave of elemental evil. That would be sense. Two sixes, uh, two sixes, but uh, neither of them was on the action die, unfortunately. Okay. Um, awesome. Nope. Was it? Uh, yeah. So in that, so yeah. So total of nine plus one. Sorry. No. Uh, yeah. No. Wait. Six, Twelve. Twelve. Fifteen. Sixteen. Sixteen. Okay. Um, Washington. It appears that given Demi's uh, aptitude for stick fighting, that he's really picking up these stances. He gets the idea of how to hold it. You need to do a little bit of correction, but it's not a big deal. Yeah, he's, he's clapping like, yeah, all right, excellent. I clapped when I saw it. Yeah, I clapped when I saw it. Um, <laughs> all right, well, There's certainly... a couple of instances where he might have cut his head off if it had been active, but... <laughs> Better than most people. <laughs> That's right. No, like, legitimately, that wasn't an issue. Because yeah. of Demi knowing, you know, where a stick should be when moving it about the body, that was never something that came up. It's incredible. All right, here we go. So next stage of the training, uh, do we have any, like, practice sticks or anything? Uh, you could probably, you know, find a couple of lengths of piping, if nothing else. Yeah, all right. I, I, I grabbed two of those and then paint... Uh, one of them green, one of them blue. And I hand the blue one to Demi and say, all right. Now this next thing, the next part is I'm going to like show you some of the basics, of, some basic combat maneuvers. Now, all right. let's pretend that I'm a Sith and I'm here to attack you. And you're going to defend yourself using your lightsaber. And I hand him the green pipe, or the blue pipe, and so, all right, now. Uh, you know, let's 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 go through this slow once, so and then we'll go through it faster. And then, if you can master this one, then we'll move on to actually using the lightsaber itself. At will active, not fighting me, not fighting me with the lightsaber active, the training okay. like, maneuvers. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right, and three, two, one, and three, two, one, and. Okay, um, Washin, use saber combat for this. Demi, continue to use stick fighting. 16. Yeah. 16? Okay. Special. Um, okay, and that's going to be a total of... Let's see here. That's a 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15. Okay. Um, yeah, seems to be going pretty well. Um, he's picking up on the patterns, uh, really getting right into it. His blocks are actually, you know, ones that you can feel through this, uh, through the pipe. You know, yeah. he, he's putting some force into them. It's incredible, Demi. This is this is this is amazing. You're doing great. Okay, I, I knew I would. Seen, I mean, it feels like this since, uh, yeah, since I, in a long time. <clears throat> I haven't seen abilities like this in a very long time. 
Is, is your name by chance K Lo Ron? <laughs> <laughs> Man. That wacky dude, I'm sure he's going to go far. Um, okay, well, I think it's time for you to practice with the real thing. So, remember, this is very dangerous, and if you drop it, it could drop right into space, and that'd be bad. So, I'm going to kind of gu guide you. Oh my god, I never thought about that. If you activated a lightsaber <laughs> in a spaceship and then dropped it, it would it would destroy everything. <laughs> <laughs> it could get very bad. Yeah. So, um, no, I'm it's here. a movie set, so it doesn't destroy it. So we're going to start with this. With, you're, you're right. That's the trick. That's the trick. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we're going to start by, uh, by I'm going to like help you go through the motions by guiding your hands just to prevent you from hurting yourself the first few times. And then you're going to take it on your own. Let's do it. Okay. So I okay. handed the lightsaber and I actually put the power crystal in this time. Okay. And go in three and two and one. Okay. Washin, go ahead and use saber combat. Okay. Demi? Straight dexterity. Straight dexterity. Okay. Yeah. I'll just take off the line. So that's 14. 14? 14. 14. Technically oh, awesome. rolled 16, Literally but 14, I, just, I just, just counted the last die that rolled. Okay. okay. Uh, April, what did you have? The 14, exactly, actually. Okay. Um, yeah. You are in yeah. perfect sync. Yeah. <laughs> you go ahead, you guide him through it. And, Demi, this, this feels like, okay, you, you see it. You see how it should be. This is just like the motions that Washin showed you. You think you're ready for this. All right. Perfect. I am the greatest Jedi. This is amazing. Okay. So the last bit of training that we're going to be able to do before we reach the, the planet is uh, this is going to be you on your own, but uh, I'm going to uh, I'm going to set up this. Uh, I'm going to take this broom and put some rubber gloves on uh, on sticks, and I'm going to put one of the, I'm going to tape one of the PVC pipes to the, to the uh, rubber glove, and put this little bucket on. I'm going to paint a frowny face on it, and this is going to be your enemy. Uh, now I want you to non-lethally take down your enemy using the lightsaber. Wait, what? Well, don't kill him. Like, remember, even if he's our enemy, you don't, you know, want to kill him. You want to give him a chance to... Uh, both his arms yeah. and legs. Yeah, I mean, like... <laughs> yeah. I, I didn't kill him. It's, it's the Jedi way. Even if you cut off both his arms, <laughs> you cut off one of his arms and both his legs and drop him in a pile of lava, that's still technically considered more merciful than actually killing him some for some reason. <laughs> Thanks, Obi-Wan. Well, no, no. Obi-Wan, every single time, has cut off people's <laughs> limbs. That's right. Isn't that weird? He's got every him. time he's fought someone and won, he's, he's <laughs> he cut off people's limbs. limbs. God damn it. Like, the, the only time he didn't do it is when he shot someone right in the heart. <laughs> yeah, it, it, for the record, I should note that the whole leaving Anakin there to burn was considered to be a moral failing on Obi-Wan's part. Wait, and and even though he he shot Grievous in the heart, he did cut off his hands right. before yeah, that. He did. Why is Obi Wan so fixing on cutting off people's arms? Obi Wan is really really big on disarming people. But he's a hand he, fetish, I think. Literally and figuratively, he's and Kira. yes, George Lucas does. God damn it! Dun, dun, Kira dun, dun, dun. Quentin Tarantino has a foot fetish. George Lucas has a hand fetish. Oh wow. Okay, anyway, so, uh, yeah, so disarm your opponent, and, uh, yeah, probably don't get his head off. Demi, what's your sense? <laughs> uh, one. One. Okay. Roll dexterity. What do you think? Wait, don't you have a good sense? 18! Oh, I wrote really well on this one. That was really good. Really good. Not good enough. Done. When you swing the lightsaber in a way that is very different from when Washington was guiding you through the motions, it feels wrong. More accurately, it felt like it did when you had, went ahead and swung it when it was off. But even as you make the cut towards that uh, target dummy, and you just take off a limb, the blade almost 
twists in your hands. And it pops out of them. What and the it's going spinning through the air, and you can see that tip flying closer, closer, closer to your face. And very quickly, April, what do? Uh, control, like, uh, I'm going to try and control dash to, like, knock him out of the way. Okay. My ultra sucks, so I'd rather just try and, like, use my own. Fair enough. To get uh, we'll control. All right. Oh, sure. Fuck me. That's not good. Um, Don't say fuck. Oh yeah. Oh, Man. Star Wars Chris. Oh Shabbat. Shabu Shabadu. No. Um. Okay. That's a um, twelve. Eighteen. Eighteen. Okay. Um. Now go ahead and roll me a dexterity at a plus two debunks. Okay. Gonna. Um, so that's going to be a four, five, nine, fifteen. Fifteen. Okay. Yeah. Um, Demi, you are not flying away. Out the way. Washin, roll strength. How Add does heart. this even? How did this even happen? <laughs> So weird. Hardy or just straight straight, right? Oh, definitely Hardy on this one. Okay. Uh, that's going to be Oh, by the way, your danger sense is shrilling. Yeah. Oh god, my spidey sense. It's <laughs> it's so strong. Um, okay, so that's gonna be a five plus four is nine plus three is thirteen. Thirteen. Uh, again, not quite good enough. You don't get impaled by the lightsaber. And mercifully, it didn't have much, you know, actual force behind it. Yeah. That doesn't mean that the saber blade doesn't slap you across the chest. Oh, not again! Why? Your robes, <laughs> where it hits, burst into flame, and you can feel the blade just cut and diagonal right across your chest before falling to the deck. Why does it doesn't actually go through the deck. Why do I keep catching on fire? Why do things keep bursting oh, into flames? Oh, Washington is chest? talking right now. There's yeah. screaming. There's no talking. Oh, yeah, no. I mean, that's like, that's what's going through his head. But like, what's going on his mouth is like, oh, God. Ah, 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 ah. Do Boy. spaceships have taps? <laughs> yes, uh, there is running water. No, okay, that's the oil. Uh, that's, the, that's the fuel pump. <laughs> Demi <laughs> runs to the bucket that we put on the head of the the <laughs> dummy thing. Okay. And starts filling it up with water. <laughs> okay. Okay. Happens, um, happens when a lightsaber touches water. Um, <laughs> depends on how immersed it is. Okay. So then I'm going to throw the water on. On water. <laughs> on water. Yeah, it, it, this is not a need to roll for thing. Uh, Washington, you are drenched in water, which really fucking hurts on your new cut burn. <laughs> why does it hurt but you're not anymore? on fire anymore, so there's that at least. Oh god, why does it hurt even more when I'm not on fire? <laughs> and then I'll switch off the lightsaber. <laughs> now that the fire is gone at least. Yeah, um... Okay, if you want to go over, you can turn off the lightsaber. Um, go ahead and make me a... Yeah, I guess this would be a technical roll. God damn it. <laughs> okay, did you not show me where the button was? <laughs> I'm pretty sure I showed you where the button was, because you, you turned it on. Can I add sense or something? <laughs> well, your sense isn't high enough to add to this. Oh, one. I got a four. What? Okay, um... <laughs> Damn, I was hoping it was going to be uh, a little bit less than that. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so... Washington, as you lie there in pain, your student has just picked up the lightsaber, and as he tries to figure out, out exactly where the off switch was... Damn, this is a fucking three students skin. <laughs> yeah, um... You remember that table that you really liked in the common area? Oh, yeah, it's my favorite. 
Oh no. <laughs> my table! No! It had all my breadsticks on it. <laughs> what do, Washin? Uh, uh, shout the button! Hit the button! This is the one on the side! <laughs> Demi, there there are entirely too button, many buttons on this thing to know exactly which one Washin is talking about. I built it up a goddamn kit flight stick! How is there that many buttons? <laughs> <laughs> because most flight sticks have many buttons on them. <laughs> the trigger, there... the, 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 the big one. Oh, Try God. spinning, it's a neat they trick. The... <laughs> Spinning's they... a neat trick. <laughs> uh, is there one that's bigger and or redder than the others? Washington did just tell you that use the trigger. <laughs> okay, he pulls the trigger? Yep. The, the, Lightsaber shuts off. Yeah, the, the, there is a bigger redder button, but if he pressed that, it would have fired the lightsaber out of its casing and straight through the ship. <laughs> No, I'm kidding. I'm just like so, some <laughs> nonsense bullshit. You do not have a ballistic knife lightsaber. <laughs> no, I know, I know. So, um, with our brave Jedi Master injured with his own weapon, and like his... he betrayed me, Demi's my new best friend. <laughs> and his very young student holding the weapon used to injure the brave Jedi Master, we are going to quickly switch over to another person. All right. Hey, Winter. No. <laughs> <laughs> so, Belial, um, as the audience may have guessed, you're playing someone else now. Oh, yes, I am. So, Hall, was it not just so nice of your parents to go ahead and take you in to the Holonet studio so that you could be recorded and shown across the sector for your skills. It's the best talent show my parents have ever afforded. They're not rich, but you know, like. Yep, but they have a way to get you onto the Holonet itself. Yay. This was going to be the best day of your life. Before a stray lightsaber flew through and <laughs> flew through the audience. Flew out of space! Uh, before a bunch of losers on the game show destroyed it for some reason. No. Yeah. <laughs> Somehow, though, despite the fact that you were incredibly excited about your opportunity, you had a bad feeling about this. You didn't think it was nerves. There is just this omnipresent sense that something was gonna go wrong. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, they've just called you up for recording. Why don't okay. you go ahead and describe Hall? Okay, well, Hall's full name is Halsey uh, Chundam. Mm -hmm. uh, she is a a human girl, a small human girl. Uh, she's age 13. And uh, her, her parents call her Hall, uh, for short. And, I don't know, what, what else? She's a short, sort of uh, brown-skinned, brown-haired girl. <laughs> what's her hobby? That, uh, what's, what's got her here at this talent show? Oh yeah, she uh, she's she's really good, quote unquote, at using the slither horn. And by good, I mean she's really good at playing only one song. <laughs> yeah, and it's the song that everyone knows. Chains of Love. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> Through the fire and the flames. No. <laughs> All right, like the Star Wars song. Yeah, that that one, you know, the, the one. That one that Kent the band played that one time. Yeah. Okay. So they... um, well, you know, the kindly guy behind uh, the hollow camera gives you a thumbs up, holds up three fingers, two fingers, one fingers, points at you. All right. I wish I had a kazoo because then I would just play the kazoo, but I can't. 
So just imagine the sound of the Cantina bar song is playing. Yeah. So as you're in, engrossed in playing this song, you may see the people in the room start to get fuzzier. A bit confused, but as, as her mama and daddy always said, keep playing. Bye. Okay. I don't let nerves. It, it must be what it, it must be that whole thing of like imagining people in their underpants, but you know, just they're getting fuzzier than that. And if you continue looking at the guy behind the hollow camera, he's paying less attention to the controls and more brushing at his arm. Hmm. Well, keep playing. He's tearing at his forearm now. And you realize that over the sounds of the song that you're playing, you can hear screaming. Oh. Oh. And uh. that fuzz that was on the people before, you're seeing it on more of the room now. Yeah, she's going to stop playing. Uh, Go ahead and make a perception check. Oh, boy. Well, let's see. Let's see. Oh, she's decent perception. Wait, is there any skill to it or no? No, no. I mean, this is probably not something that you've seen before. So. Okay. That is... Eleven. Eleven. Boy, that uh, that fuzz, it kind of reminds you of something. It kind of reminds you of the Elka loaf. After, you know, you've snagged a piece and you hid it in your room so you could eat it later, and you forgot about it and then came back to it and it just was overgrown with that nasty, cruddy stuff that... Well, Daddy was really mad at you, and they had to get rid of that entire cabinet. Oh. And it's not just the guy behind the hollow camera who's screaming and twitching and clawing at themselves. It's people all over the room. And you can feel your skin start to itch. Oh, no. This is yeah, you gotta as, fucking... Even as you hear the scream still come out of the hollow cameraman's mouth, even as he tries to tear at what's coming over his body, you can see him start to freeze up. And the last thing that comes out of his mouth is just the tailing off of a scream. Run. Okay, where to? Anywhere but here... Uh, okay. Preferably mom and dad. So. Okay. You left them in the green room. Okay. Okay. No, you know the way. Yeah. You go ahead, you burst out that door, or you run towards where you had last seen your mother and father. These hallways are fuzzy, too. Oh, no! It's not as bad as it was in that room, but this wasn't just in that room. No. It's getting thicker, too. Let's keep running. Okay. Towards the green room? Yeah. The door is open. Oh. There's a lump on the floor. Right oh. in the middle of the doorway. No. You can't uh, see. You can't see what it is. Uh, 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 I just um, I don't know how to react. Uh, uh, just an adult or fear. Hmm. Do you look in the green room? Oh, yeah. 
Do we gotta follow all the There's a statue the there. There's a statue on the table that you remember having food on it before. Um. It's got a very familiar height. Oh. No. And your skin kind of itches. No. <laughs> oh. Uh. I I guess run away from the 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 whatever it is. Uh. Anywhere. Where to? It seems to be everywhere. Uh. Well. You you know what you know what Hall's uh, parents always said: if someone breaks through that door, <laughs> uh, make sure to hide. <laughs> You're gonna they try were, and hide. They were deep in the mob. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Where's the safest place that you can think of, Hall? Well, home, but that's not that's not really feasible right now. <laughs> This is probably true. Uh, I know. The spaceport. Um, the lead-lined cabinet that your parents bought you for your birthday. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think of a place that the, in this talent show place. I, I guess in a fire you go to the bathroom. Okay. Sterile. Pressure. Turn on, you, when, you you turn the water on. Wrap yourself in in a blanket and try and breathe out of the faucet in the <laughs> floor. That then in real life, that's actually what my parents told me. If the house was burning and I couldn't get out, go into the bathroom and wrap yourself in a towel in a wet towel and then <laughs> breathe through the drain. It's pretty fucked up, but you yeah, know, I mean, I, like it will be. Uh, uh, well, yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, uh, you know, it, it makes sense. Um, you go ahead and you run towards uh, Star Wars bathroom, which is the refresher. Yeah. You get yourself inside, door closes behind you. Nothing's fuzzy here yet. Mm hmm. Well, uh. What turn on the hell water. just happened? And we'll go well, ahead and leave it I, there for this Am moment. I still itchy? <laughs> you so, didn't feel it so much. Okay. But it came and went before. Hmm. Anyway, though, we'll hold it right there for now, folks. We'll see you next time. See you next time, babies. Bye.